It's that high mountain that he was tempted upon. It's the high mind of disobedience. So this is the mountain that we will move. We will move this mountain. Most people read this scripture and they think of a physical mountain like, oh, I have faith. I might be able to uh, push over this whole hill or maybe I can make a whole house disappear. No, it does not work like that. We're not talking about those things that we recognize through these eyes. We're talking about the things we recognize through this eye, our inner eye. And that's why Selassie I testifies of spiritual strength, uh, uh, discipline of the mind being the beginning of spiritual strength because that is the moving of that mountain. That's the mountain that we must move, the, the, the high mind of disobedience. That's the mountain that we must move because it is exalted within the body of sin, within the flesh there is an exalted place where we are tempted and everybody's been there when they think to go this direction, they think to go that direction and they're tempted by the devil, tempted to have faith in their own exalting of their own understanding. And, and that's the work of the enemy and that's the mountain that we move through faith. With a living faith, we will move the mountain of disobedience and it will have no place in our life. So... So he, so 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 Christ, Christ speaks of, of, of moving this mountain. So I'm, I'm gonna read. I'll throw the verse back up there. Uh, because of your, because of your unbelief, for surely I say unto you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here, move from here to there, and it will be moved. So 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 that has to be, that that has to be our 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 understanding of. The separation between um, the the mountain of disobedience and the mountain of of, of change, the mountain of growth, uh, the the mountain of the mountain of, of, of new things. Let's go to uh, and you know what? Let's not go. I'm just gonna flash it up on the screen for us. Let's go to Luke chapter nine, verse twenty eight. And this is the mountain we must move to. We must move from the mountain of disobedience. Unto the mountain of transfiguration, unto the mountain of new life, and this is uh, this is revealed to us in Luke chapter nine, verse twenty-eight. In Luke chapter nine, verse twenty-eight, Christ takes, uh, uh, I believe, it's three or two of his disciples, John and Peter specifically, up to the top of a mountain. They witness his transfiguration into his spirit body. They witness no longer his flesh body, but his spirit body, and alongside him, he sees Elijah and Moses. So, so when at, up top this mountain, this reveals the transfiguration that happens in our life when we take part in faith, when we when we have that conviction, uh, and 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 we welcome within ourselves a belief that Jesus Christ is not only the Son of God, but He is our salvation. He is our 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 opportunity for eternal life. Um, <clears throat> So let's go ahead, let's read it one more time, and we'll finish it up right here. Because of your unbelief, for surely I say unto you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, rule from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So there we have, again, the lack of impossibilities. Nothing will be impossible for us. And you know why nothing is impossible? Because we no longer live in our flesh. If you're in your flesh, there's a lot of things impossible. Like this wall behind me. I cannot move this wall behind me, no matter how much I want to, if I use my flesh. But if I go within my spirit and I recognize the wall of disobedience within my life that wishes to separate me from the salvation of Jesus Christ, if I want to, if I take my faith, I have the strength to move that wall within my life. I have the strength to move that and tell it to get from hence and tell it that I will move you from one place to another. I have that strength through our spiritual strength we received through our relinquishing of our body of our flesh. When we remove ourselves from the body of flesh and we testify of our transfigured self, which we receive through the salvation, the revelation, and the glory of the new Jerusalem life of Jesus Christ, we, 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 ed we edify our new custom, our new culture, our salvation, and, and we edify that God's kingdom has come. His will has been done on earth as it is in heaven. So we give all our praise unto the Most High, Jah, Rastafar, I, Jah, Rastafar, I, we praise Him with sound, we praise Him with words and nouns, we praise Him, Rastafar, I, I said, Jah, Rastafar, I, give praise unto the God 
of our fathers, yes, I Rastafar, I. We praise him, we glorify him, we honor him, we revere him. Oh, praise unto the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For the Lord our God is one and revealed upon the throne of King David, upon the throne of King David, to reveal that God's kingdom has come and his will shall be done on earth as in heaven. Oja Rastafari.